Good morning children. Today we are going to learn find the quotient by using repeated subtraction. By using repeated subtraction. Division means repeated subtraction. Now today we are going to find the quotient by using repeated subtraction. See here. 12 divided by 4 is equal to 12 is divided, 4 is divisor and we have to find the quotient. Is it clear children? So how we will find the quotient by repeating, uh, repeated subtraction? See here. First take the dividend. First number is 12. Then you have to subtract with the divisor. Minus 4. So how we will do the subtraction? From down to up. 4 after till you get 12. 4 after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many figures? 5, 6, 7, 8. Again you have to take this 8 and subtract. See, here after doing this one, 12 one box, 4 one box and here 8 one box. After that, just you draw one line by leaving here side one box. Eight. Again you have to subtract with 4 till you get 0. See whatever the divisor is, then that number, that number you have to subtract till you get 0. So now you have to subtract. 4 after, 4 after 5, 6, 7, 8. How many? 4. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Again you have to take 4 into the next box. Again, with which number you have to subtract? 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Is it clear, children? So, how many times you have subtracted? 1 time, 2 times, 3 times. See here, after first, after writing 12 divided by 4 is equal to box, after writing here, leave 2 lines. So that you can write this how many times you have subtracted that number. Leave two lines and then write 12 minus 4 is equal to like this. You can do the subtraction. Here also how we have done two sums in one page uh, in the uh, division on number line. We have done no? two sums in one page. In the same way here for repeated subtraction also two sums in one page, two sums in one page you can do. But after writing the sum here, if you leave two lines, means for this numbers, how many times you have it uh, subtracted, for that numbers you can write in that boxes. Is it clear, children? So, one time, two times, three times. So, 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Repeated subtraction. Repeatedly you have subtracted till you get 0. So, how many times you have subtracted? Three times, one time, two times, three times. See, here you get table also. Four threes are twelve. Or three fours are twelve also. You can get the table. Is it clear, children? So now again, 28 divided by 7. 28 divided by 7. So what is the dividend here? 28. Minus, what is the divisor? 7. Then you have to subtract. So you can subtract like this also, tens also. Seven, seven after eight, one. Then you can take two. Or else you can take the fingers also. Seven after till twenty-eight means you have to. Uh, these fingers are not sufficient. Then you have to take your small fingers. In these fingers you have in the boxes. No, you have to count with that boxes so that you can get the answer. So you can get 7 after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, like this. If not, you can take with single number. 7 after 8, 1. And here, 2 again, okay, 21. Then, you take this 21 here to another box. 2, 1, 21. Again, minus. 
divisor is 7, you have to subtract till 7 till you get 0. Again here, yeah. 7 after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, you won't get the fingers. So you can take these small fingers. 7 after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So these are 12, 13, 14. Is it clear children? 14. Again you have to subtract this 14. 14 minus 7. Again, 7 after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many? 7. Again you take this 7. Again with which number? 7. You have to do subtraction. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. So now you have to count how many times you have done subtract, subtracting. How many times you have subtracted? 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times. 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4. 7 fours are 28 or 4 sevens are 28. Is it clear children? So repeated subtraction. You are subtracting till you get 0. If you won't get 0 means here somewhere you have done wrong. That's why you won't get 0. If you get 0 means here sum is correct. Is it clear children? So now again 25 divided by 5. So 25 is the dividend. Minus 5 is the divisor. 5 minus 5 0. And then the print. Or else you can think 5 after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Like this, you can take the small boxes in your fingers. Is it clear, children? So 25 minus 5 is equal to 20. Again, you have to draw a line in the next box. 20. You have to take 20. Again, you have to subtract with 5. Divisor is 5. Again, 5 after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 12. These short boxes are 12, 13, 14, 15. Again, you have to take this 15 to next to box. Again you have to subtract with 5. 5 is a divisor. Again 5 after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many? 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or you can take 5 minus 5, 0 and here 1. Like this also you can take. Again you take 10 next box. 10 minus 5. Now count again. 5 after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many? 5. Again you take this 5. Again you have to subtract with divisor is 5. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Did you get 0? Yes. So now how many times you have subtracted? We will see. One time, two times, three times, four times, five times. So 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. 5 is a 25. So five times you have done repeated subtraction till you get 0. And see another example. 24 divided by 6. 24 divided by 6. So 24 minus 6. See. 24. 6 after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 
So these are the words. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you can take 18. You can do it like this also. So 6 won't go in 4. You can borrow from 2. Then it will become 14. Then you can do like this also. Subtraction. Then you take 18 into the next box. Again, minus 6. So here you can do 6 after 7, 8, 2. And this one you can bring it like this. Or you can count again figure 6 after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 12. And then again you take this 12. Minus. Again you have to subtract with 6. 6 after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many? 6. Again you take this 6. Again minus 6. Divisor is 6. 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So how many times you have subtracted? 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times. So 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. 6 fours are 24 or 4 6 are 24. See, here you will get the table also. 6 1s are 6. 6 2s are 12. 6 3s are 18. 6 4s are 24. Here also you can see here. 5 1s are 5. 5 2s are 10. 5 3s are 15. 5 4s are 20. 5 5s are 25. Again see here also. 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14, 7 3s are 21, 7 4s are 28, 4 times. Here, 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12. So, this is repeated subtraction. Find the quotient by using repeated subtraction. I hope you have understood this repeated subtraction. Watch the video and do the PDF work in your classwork book. Thank you.